guys have been asking the whole yeah. time. Uh, you went to Tanzania. Mm -hmm. There was supposed, supposed to be a music video that was supposed to be done. We don't know what happened. But the biggest question guys have been asking, both your fans and your haters, is that, Mishidora, were you really pregnant for Avon? Why are you asking, was I really pregnant? You should be asking, because am I, I really pregnant? I'm not having any baby shower, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I think, I think I discovered, I think in the past. Yeah. Uh, so, are, are you pregnant? No, I was. You were pregnant? Mm -hmm. And? Uh -huh. And? And? Mm -hmm. and? Everybody shut up. This is not a story. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you there? Is your pregnancy missing? Right. No. <laughs> so there was actually a real pregnancy. Let's start from there. Um, yeah, there was a pregnancy. And, um, okay, this is what happened. I've had... Yeah. You're a strong woman. I was told right now. It's really risky for me. So I have to wait. You know, usually it takes two years, but I was told to wait like three, four years before I can try getting pregnant again. So this happened because we didn't plan to have the baby. And uh, it just happened. And so I'm not the abortion type chick. So I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do an abortion. So I decided to keep the baby. Much as people were talking, we were both not ready, but now the baby is already here. What are we supposed to do? So as a mother, I just, I just said, I haven't told Rivani that I'm going to keep this pregnancy, whether you're going to be there or not. Because by then he was already having another lady that was this pregnant more, for him. Because more you know that he had a government. Yes. So this was more like a thing. It wasn't like a real relationship. You actually guys did. Yes, when I met Rivani, he never mentioned about the other lady. He lied. Yes, he so told Rivani me. Rivani lied. That he yeah, that's why actually he insisted that I should go to Tanzania. Tanzania, he was just all over with me. So there's no way I could have suspected like hey, this another lady here until I went for an interview, which he's the one who took me to Dizim online. Mm. And when they were asking me questions, they were like, are you okay dating Rivani knowing that he's got a pregnant woman? I was so like, you actually knew that Ravenny had a girlfriend? No. On, during an on air? On, on, on air, air yes. During an interview. You know. So that's when I walked back. Actually, this is where my story, me and her, we now just went our separate ways. Because Bridget was also depending on Ravenny's money. He was the one who was paying for his, his room and he was paying for our room. So when I decided to pack and leave, you know, he, so you are you are actually in Tanzania with Bridget. Yes. So Bridget wanted to stay longer on the peril of Raven. <laughs> yes. She had intentions. Bro. Yeah. So uh, let me let me be honest. So um, Raven actually paid the whole trip, two and four the return tickets both for you and Bridget. No, Bridget paid for her return ticket. Actually, she left me now in Tanzania after I was broke. Like she left me with nothing. I didn't have any money. She kept on telling me just use your money after we had left the hotel that Raven was paying for us. Yeah. So now we went to another <coughs> hotel. So I was the one now paying for everything there. And then she said like, oh, it never came. That money never came until one day I was just having breakfast downstairs. And then I see her come with her suitcases. And I'm like, where are you going to? At me, my flight is booked. I'm going back to Kenya. So I'm like, you're going back to Kenya. I don't have any money here. How are you leaving me here? Like, it's not making sense. Then she's like, when I reach Kenya, I'll send you something. I said, OK. Something. Yeah, like money so that I can travel back with. <laughs> so. <laughs> Six jug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Let's, let's, let's talk a little about Bridget first. Um, we've already had enough of her on the show already. Um, because the, the question is, and I am also, I just want to know, how did you pull through? People know me as a strong woman. I'm a strong woman, yes. And no, it's of course, I mean, not a physical way, one. No, oh, don't, don't okay. go there. Hey, the way you fight, I was, I was just saying, <laughs> it's everywhere. You're a strong woman. No, personally, mm. personally, I'm just a strong woman. Like, what I've gone through in life made my skin numb. Like, nothing really moves me. Nothing hurts me. Nothing can get to me. Except when you get to my kids, then you can get through my skin. Mm. So, like, um, when I lost the baby, actually, it's not like it was a miscarriage. It was a... 
told me when I was two months pregnant that we really have to terminate pregnancy because I was really, really having a hard time even moving around. Makio, I had an accident. So, like, uh, my... Did you tell me something like... <laughs> Down here, yeah. Doctor Funeke is You know, I went to the oncologist before. Yeah, so even if I could have managed to to carry the pregnancy to term, yeah. I couldn't have carried it to term. Sorry, I could have carried at least to seven or eight months because of the pelvic bones fractures. So uh, when I was two months pregnant, I was told the pregnancy has to. Be and I was like, no. I re I was thinking like I'd, I'd push like I'd. I'd yeah, exactly. Probably seven months the baby could be put in an incubator and then we'd be good make it through. Yeah. And um, now, uh, as I was five months pregnant, I couldn't. With, with the fight in Nairobi Diaries, I couldn't rest. My baby was also unwell. I had a lot of stress, a lot of pressure that was going on. So finally, I got checked in the hospital and uh, the pregnancy was terminated. It was actually a baby. We, we buried the baby. It wasn't like just a miscarriage. So at this thing. point, had you told Revani already? Yes. Did he, was he supportive at any point? Yes, he was. He was. But then the lady was, was always bringing issues up. Did you talk? Lot talk? Of, so, yeah, we talk. Until now? No, now we don't talk. How long has it been? Because he doesn't understand that the pregnancy had to be terminated. Yeah. He like it's because I wanted to go back to my diva life and all that, you understand? So he, he wanted to keep the baby? Yeah. He wanted to keep the baby? Yeah. So then, um, to me, you know, I also take things too personal. Like when he goes for interviews and he says, oh no, I'm not, she's not expecting my baby, I don't know what, what. Those things used to get to me. You, at least you want some ownership as a woman. Exactly. But then I, I said, okay. So when it reached this point, when uh, the baby was, uh, was removed and um, I was just all by myself this time, except there was this guy who is also, he's an actor from Tanzania. He was the one who was there for me Which was my next one. question. <laughs> so are you finally in love, as we get to the next part of the, of the, of the show? Is Mishi now in love? Yeah. How many months now? Which one is your own? <laughs> Answer the oh, question. Oh, oh, oh. Are you, how many months now? How many months Love now? is a pregnancy. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you my, concentrate my bad. on your, your, your job description? My bad. <laughs> Can I finish the pregnancy issue first? You can ask me the love thing later. Okay. And then as we get there. Uh -huh. Yes. So because people expected me to be pregnant, have this baby, the moment I lost this baby, I kept on showing that I'm pregnant. As you can see, my tummy is still big. And like I kept on playing this role, even in Nairobi Diaries, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. Because I, I didn't just want people to bash me. Because P Pendo earlier on had said that oh, she's going to have a miscarriage and all that. Oh. So, you know, most people were like, oh, it's a fake pregnancy. And mm. So I didn't want to come out, but it was, this, this was just the most, the heaviest baggage I've ever had in my life. Lying that you're pregnant. You understand? So after five months, after the burial, we all know any mother who's lost a child out there, because this is not the first time I'm losing a child. So to me, it really drained me. It really, really drained me. But there's no one who was out there to understand me. Everyone expects me to be strong. strong. Me, she is someone who can survive on her own. But no, I'm a human being. And like, I also get hurt. I, I feel pain. But, but how are you feeling now? I, I mean, how are you, are you, are you pulling up? Yeah, my mom has been there for me and my guy has been there for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, I'm pulling up. 